in the Liberal Party. Question is the motion be agreed to Ms Lauder. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Steve Dospot was a gentleman in every sense of the word. He was kind, gracious and inclusive. And more than that, he was a community advocate. And I'd like to put on the record today a few comments from just some of the many, many organisations that he has assisted over the years. COTA ACT extends their best wishes to Steve Dospot's family and friends following his passing. Steve was a great friend of COTA ACT and was a tireless advocate for older Canberrans since being elected to the Assembly in his capacity as an MLA and Shadow Minister for Seniors. Some of the important issues he's advocated on include age discrimination, the amenity of Canberra suburbs and transport for older Canberrans. Another. On behalf of ACT Shelter, I write to acknowledge and sincerely thank you, Steve, for what can only be described as a dedicated and outstanding contribution to civic and political life here in Canberra. Your office has assisted many of our members at various times during your tenure, and I know a number of our members hold you in high regard. Your attendance at diverse community events and forums between as well as in the lead up to ACT polls does not go unnoticed. We know the ACT is in many respects unique in the sense that we can genuinely vote for people as well as parties to represent us. In yourself, Steve, the people of Brindabella and later Malonglo and Currajong have indeed been fortunate to be represented by a committed representative and genuine community champion. Brindabella Blues Football Club would like to pass on our condolences to the Dospot family on the recent passing of Steve. The club was very saddened to hear of his passing as he was a valued supporter of our club. Steve was a patron of our junior members for over five years and he was a frequent attendee at our annual presentation days and proudly handed out awards which we greatly appreciated. Steve was a valued and popular member in one of our Masters playing squads before he retired and was always willing to help Brindabella Blues Football Club and our community wherever he could, for which we will be forever grateful. When I visited Steve recently, all he spoke about was what a fortunate life he had. He mentioned that it's not often you get to hear your own eulogies. He was referring to the debate we had here in October. But he said it was great to be reminded of the many, many organisations he'd had the opportunity to assist. His advocacy for others, and I know that not just these three that I've given the example of, but many, many others are so grateful for his assistance and advocacy. And I hope that at this very, very sad time that for Maureen, Adam, Amy and the rest of the family, the fact that he had a fortunate life and spent much, much of it helping others will be some 